What's up everybody and welcome back to Getting Gold. Today I'm getting in the truck and I'm getting outdoors this weekend. I'm headed back up to my buddy Matt's. I'm gonna try my luck at another weekend of hunting. The weather right now is pouring out. It's supposed to be like this all weekend. Let's hope the weatherman's wrong. I'm due. I'm totally due to harvest the animal. So again, deer's open and turkey's open right now for both. So let's hope I get a little bit of luck this weekend. Either way, I'll be doing a solo truck camp. Um, plan on doing some wings. I'm not sure if I'm doing them on the fire or the barbecue. Again, that's going to depend on whether uh, the rain holds off or not. Um, if not, I got a cooler full of beer. I'll sit in the blind with a cooler full of beer all day. Just hope something passes by. No driving anywhere. Not going anywhere. They say I'm sleeping in the truck. So either way, I'm catching something this weekend. Might be the bugs. We'll see you when we get up there. Okay hey guys, we arrived and I am set up. See behind me there? Got a car going back. If you watch my last video, you understand the car noise. It's a pretty busy street out here, but. So, it has pretty much rained the whole time I've been here for like two hours. So Matt and I have been sitting underneath the, uh, the canopy. having a few drinks. We pretty much decided that we're not probably gonna go hit the blind tonight. So, we're getting a fire going. Trying, trying to get the fire going. Wood's a bit wet, but uh, I think we're just gonna hang out, have a couple drinks tonight. Probably do some sausages over this fire once we get the uh, coals going. And uh, I think that's it. I think that's it for tonight. Maybe some karaoke, I don't know. We got some whiskey in the in the cooler, so if we get in the whiskey, maybe we'll bring you back <laughs> later. For, yeah. <laughs> Remember that one time we sold the guitar? Yeah. That was fun. Oh, I know. That was, yeah. I didn't even tell you about that. But so if we get the whiskey going, and uh, it might rain again. Again, it's supposed to. It's calling for rain all weekend again. Just my luck. So, but if uh, you bring the rain. Yeah, I'll bring the rain. That's it. I'll bring the rain. My bow. Rain down on those browns. <laughs> what? Rain down on those browns. Rain down on the brown? Yep. If it's brown, it's down. Oh yeah, that's right too. Remember the time when you were cool and you used to camp out here with me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, fuck, it's too cold. Yeah. I could have brought the easy heat. Oh yeah. I need one of those pine signs though. Another day, another day. All right, guys, it's morning. I slept like a baby, which is really good. Yet. 
so that's good. At least if I can get up to the blind before it rains. But either way, I'm spending, I'd say, most of the day in that blind today. If it doesn't rain, I might, uh, Matt's got a few stands kind of up and around for its property, so. Um, if it's not raining and uh, I ain't not getting much action, I might uh, creep around the bush a little bit. Always, first we do coffee. Is it damp? The oh, windows are just soaked. Those aren't too bad. Well, let's, uh, let's get the gear on and head up. Okay, we're back at it. It's hot out. I'm like sweating right now walking up here. It's pretty, uh, pretty mild morning compared to the last time I was up. I was freezing. If the rain holds off, this will be a good day. Again, if it gets a little quiet around here, I can always truck up to the woods. He's got a couple stands and blinds scattered throughout the property, so there's options out here. So it's still dark out. We'll, uh, I'm not gonna open the blinds up yet, or open up the windows yet. So I sit here and play on my phone, I guess, for an hour, and then uh, when the sun comes up, it's go time. See you in a bit. Breakfast time. First thing we do is just pop this grill right off. Just got little holes in there where they go in. So I just take the grill, flip it upside down. The holes still line up. Yeah. Now I got a plate. I got a flat, I got a flat grill here. Works out perfect. made some egg wraps bacon egg and cheese on a wrap oh. heat this up just enough to melt some cheese except for the tin foil never thought that out it's pretty loud hopefully it doesn't uh, screw me but I'm not having no luck anyway so Matt's heard some bushes crackling he's just up over here too Side of that tree line, so he's kind of. 
covering that. I got a view of this field. And there's another field behind me over here, so the other field over here doesn't have grass. Or sorry, doesn't have corn, so um, they might just come up through there. That's kind of what we're hoping. He's picking them up on camera, so we know they're out here. But if I don't get one this weekend, I'm not going to call it hunting anymore. I'm just going to say, yeah, I'm going up to sit in the blind for the weekend. Alright, time to flip. So myself. It's quite good. Bacon. I've cooked um, like cans of chili and soup and stuff on the body here before, but I've never done anything in tin foil. But I learned as long as you keep flipping it, it's all right. This body heater. perfect and it takes the dampness out of the blind too it takes the chill out of the air while you're cooking breakfast brilliant absolutely brilliant <laughs> since 6.30. I've been sitting in this blind. It's been raining on and off all day. It's not too bad right now. Really cloudy, but there's more dark clouds coming in over here. Got my little decoy out there. Figured maybe I tracked a turkey this way or maybe I hear deer feel comfortable. If they know there's turkeys in the field, but who knows if that's true or not. But uh, yeah, it's been a long day. I think we're gonna pack up here shortly. Go back to the truck, maybe get a fire going, take the chill out of my bones, and uh, we'll get some wings going. Do some buffalo ranch wings. Not sure exactly how I'm gonna do them yet though. I'm either gonna do them on the barbecue or maybe over the fire. We'll see, the wind's pretty crazy, so. Don't know if uh, we even get the fire going if it's too windy, but either way, I'm getting into some wings today. I think you got a little side of mac salad, potato salad to go with it too, so be a good little feast. So yeah, I'm gonna come out again tomorrow morning uh, for a couple hours and then head home early afternoon. Got a couple things to do around the house before I go to work on Monday, so. Fingers crossed. Just one. Just one. one. Just something. Guys, so the weather is absolutely horrible out there so we decided to come in and uh we're gonna do some wings on in the oven um i'm probably still gonna camp outside tonight um but i got it all packed up i put my awning away that wind is crazy right now plus there is a really good ufc card on tonight so we're probably gonna watch that tonight too so but check this check these wings out oh yeah got some wings and sausages so we're just gonna season them all up I, i've already got them all seasoned up i'm gonna go in the oven for a little while 
I'm just gonna do them right dead in the oven. Less mess, easy to go. So we'll bring it back when that's all done. Wings and sausages are done. Got some buffalo ranch on this side. And then we got Frank's barbecue buffalo on that side. Good, simple, easy meal. And on the side, this is what we got. Little mac salad, little potato salad. I'm starving too, so we're about to get into it. Just to wipe all that fuse. I just went to fight. <laughs> It's all good. That's good too. It's good sauce. I put down the steak and eggs. I made a little steak egg sandwiches. So good. Well, guys, skunk day. Dinner was good. Again, no rain, but it's still pretty windy out. Not as bad as it was earlier. But enough where we can't even really have a fire anyway. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna call it a night. So tomorrow morning I'm uh, gonna be getting up. And the plan is we're going up to the other side of Matt's property. So um, I'm actually just gonna get up. I moved my truck, got my awning all down. I moved my truck back up to his parking lot or his driveway. So I'm gonna crash here for the night. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna take his vehicle up in the morning, go to the other side of his property. And we're going to walk into the bush from there, no blinds. And it's supposed to be cold tomorrow. It's supposed to be like negative one Celsius in the morning. So it's uh, it's going to be a little chilly in here tonight. But the sleeping bag is good for minus seven. So I got another little quilt or another little blanket here if, uh, if I needed to. I think I'll be all right, though. I'll be pretty good for the sleeping in here. But uh, it's going to be chilly staying out there with no blind, no heater, no nothing in the morning. So uh yeah okay guys well i think we're getting up a little bit later because we're gonna need a little bit of light to get up to see where we're going up it's pretty thick bush where we're going through to get up to the open areas so it uh might be a little too dark to take footage as well so hopefully um at least when i get up there i can show you guys most of the play, spot anyways what it's like so but uh yeah i guess we'll see you all in the morning guys oh that was a chilly night oh it was nice I had to turn a fan on just so it would stay dry in here worked out pretty good but I got all my gear inside from last night so I'm gonna do a coffee in there I think I'm prepared for this chilly of weather so See you in the woods.
She said, screw it. We walked up to the blinds again. So that being said, I actually heard some turkeys this morning up in the field behind me. And uh, there was more clucks in the next farmer's field across the road way over there. I could hear them pretty good. So I think what was ever behind me, it just sounded like a, a single hen. But it toured up. It must have went that way towards across the field. Or across the road to the other field. So with all that being said, there's actually a scheduled power out at my house right now. And it is freezing. So I might have to call this day short. I was planning on going home about noon anyways. I gotta work tomorrow. But uh was hoping to Yeah, I might have to call uh call the quits a little bit earlier today. Just to get home. We got a wood stove I can get some heat going. I got my mother in law for watching my dogs for me, so that's how I work and kids are at work and <laughs> so I get the mother in law to come over and uh, stay and watch the pups for us. So not really fair for her to be out there freezing all day. Looks like we're gonna get a dump of snow or rain here again soon too. It's a weatherman lie, it was supposed to be sunny today. Gang, I'm doing the drive of shame. Heading home. It's a fun weekend. It wasn't successful, but it was a fun weekend. That's for sure. Um, again, I believe, as I said earlier, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to be coming back out here for probably another two weeks. I got a lot of stuff going on these next couple weeks uh, with home and work and whatnot. So, good news is, always when I do come back out, it will be gun season for deer. Uh, turkey season will be all done. It's done for me this year. Um, and I heard one this morning, got me a little excited, but didn't uh, didn't want to come out in my field. And uh, so pack it up and head it in. See it kind of jot into the bush, and I tried to stalk it for a little bit, but I couldn't find it. By the time uh, I got over to it, it was gone. So, but, so yeah, the next couple weeks, guys, um, we got something really cool happening. Um, I won't spoil the surprise right now. I believe it's weekend of the November 24th or something is what we're planning on. Um, but it's going to be something different we've never done before. And uh, it's going to be cold weather. We will be camping. But uh, there's a little more to the story on this one. So I think it'll be pretty cool. So make sure you guys stay tuned and uh, hit that notification button so you don't miss out when we post these videos. Um, again, guys, sorry, it's kind of a boring video, but really not much I could have done. Again, Pretty much the same video I did last time, except for we didn't go in and have dinner and watch the fight inside. Your UFC fight last night, and uh, it worked out pretty good. So I did sleep in the truck. It was quite a chilly night, but uh, 
Yeah, it was pretty decent. Just that one sleeping bag I had, no heater. So next time, I'm gonna have the heater. So I'm gonna be doing a little setup as well. Uh, so another video I'll probably get to do here shortly is um, the diesel heater, buddy heater. So I'll let you know when and how I use them. And uh, I'll try to get that one out probably within the two weeks I'm staying at home. So I think that'll be a decent little video to get to show you. And I still gotta do a little bit of work more. A little, I still gotta do a little more work on uh, how I want this diesel heater set up in my truck. So probably get at that later this week after work, uh, take her with it a little bit, and then uh, I'll get it ready for the video. Uh, like you say, probably next weekend, a weekend after, I'll probably have time. It'll just be a short, quick video, like I say, on kind of which one I use and when I use it. So, um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. And uh, if you haven't, make sure you guys subscribe. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Cheers.